God started to deal with, it, deal with this with me, and He said to me, I must say to you this morning that He is not just a God that is going to do things on our behalf. He has done it. Let me say that again. He's not just a God that will do things on our behalf. He has done it. And as I, as I looked at the scripture this morning, the Lord started to deal with me again early, in the early hours of the morning. And I, I want you to understand this. In Joshua chapter number 6, the scripture reads as follows. Now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its mighty men. Verse number 3. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do not do, do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in the front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up, everyone straight in. Verse number six. So Joshua, son of Nun, called the priests and said to them, take up the ark of the covenant of the Lord and have seven priests carry trumpets in the front of it and order the army, advance. Be march around the city with armed guards going ahead of the ark of the Lord. And when the trumpet sounded, verse number 20, and the sound of the trumpet, when the men gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. So everyone charged straight in and took the city. Verse number 21, they devoted the city to the Lord and destroyed with the sword every living thing in it, men and women, young and old, cattle, sheep, and donkeys. And when I read this, the Lord started to speak to me and He said these words to me yesterday afternoon. He started to deal with me and He said this. He said, I want you to see something that even though the walls stood for six days, it was on the first day that I already declared them defeated. I want to say that again. Even though you saw this, the, the, the walls for six days, I want you to understand on the first day I've already given it to you. As you sit here this morning, I want you to know that you serve a God that has already given it into your hands. And to every purpose and to every, every promise that God has for your life, there's something called the process of God. Are you guys okay? Because this morning I want to get us to a place where you might understand, why you might understand that the walls of Jericho has to fall. All of us that are seated here, we might have different types of, of Jericho walls. The point is they have to fall. They have to fall. Are you guys okay? And I want you to see one or two things here that, uh, that stood out for me. It, I, as I read it, I wondered, the, um, the question came to me, why will the Lord instruct them to walk around at six days if the Lord gave the city to them already on the first day? Why did the Lord do this? He could have just given the city to them. Why did He wait six days? And as I was studying it and as I was looking on it, the Lord started to speak to me and said this. He said, the promise was given on day one, but the process took six days because I was busy establishing a pattern in my people's hearts that they would understand that I'm more eager to break the walls down in them than to break the walls around them. Because as soon as the walls come down inside of them, I will conquer all the walls that is around them. You have to understand that Jericho was a pattern. Because as Jericho was a pattern, the next city that would have been conquered was I. But with Jericho, God wanted to establish a pattern. What was the pattern? The pattern was confidence, trust, and obedience. God wanted to tell His people, for every victory that you will have, there is a pattern, there is instructions, and there's a process. Are you guys okay? Can we go a little bit deeper here? I want you to see this. It made me leap in my spirit when I, when I read it. Joshua, please note this. Joshua does, does not tell the people how long it will take before Jericho falls. Joshua just tells the people, advance. 
In other words, you will have to understand that sometimes when God speaks to you and me to let the walls of Jericho fall in our life, whatever it might be, He will not tell you the, the, the duration of the process, but He will make the promise certain. Because the promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. In other words, what God has promised, He cannot fail. And as I looked at this, the Lord said to me, He said, you have to understand. So I want you to get the picture. Here on the inside, listen to me carefully. Inside is Jericho. This is a wealthy city. This had high walls. Jericho had extremely high walls. Now suddenly the people on the inside, the Bible says that the people on the inside, the city gets locked. Nobody gets out, nobody gets in. Everybody is locked in, right? Now for six days, oh my Lord, for six days the army marches. But the Lord puts a, a system and the Lord puts a process to how they should march. He puts them, listen to how He puts them. There is order for your breakthrough. Say with me, there's order for my breakthrough. Listen how God structures them. He says, Call the priest and say to them, take up the ark of the covenant of the Lord and have seven priests carry trumpets in front and then comes the army. So we see a pattern here. We see the priests, we see the ark, we see the army. Are you with me? In other words, there's a pattern for what God is busy doing. He first has a, his priest, his representatives are in front. Then with his representatives is the presence, the ark. After the ark comes the army. Are you there? It is the army that's going to go do the killing, but it's not the army that's going to take the victory. 